Hey guys, good evening and welcome to my exciting channel. We're discussing Mandela effects and the like. Thanks for joining me today as we uncover the mysteries of the Mandela effect itself and find out the true meaning of it all. We must discover what is really happening, what is really going on here, to change these things that we know and hold dear to us. And let us help others discover the meaning of the Mandela effect and how it affects them and the price of milk. Thank you. And be sure to hit the like and subscribe down below. Hey guys, good morning. Hey, hope your day's going well. I'm just going to cut to the chase right here. Leonard Skinner's band. Okay, what, what do you guys remember? Was it Leonard Skinnard? Or was it Leonard Skinnard? See, that's... I'm remembering Leonard Leonard Skinnard. Just like uh, Scarab here is. And um, huge shout out to you, brother, for finding that one, man. Um, so anyway, he did a little video here last night. And um, I did some more research and I wanted to add to it. And I, of course, I have to throw my Batman in there. <laughs> I don't always go see Leonard Skinner uh, with an A. Right here, A R D A R D. That's how I remember it. I remember in my mind pronouncing it Leonard Skinnard. Um, and I was always a pretty good speller, Leonard Skinnard. And and they wouldn't have anything. There would not be much residue on this if it, if this weren't the case. So here's a couple people that have been to concerts. This is recently, like. 23rd of April, 2017, this guy, Gwazi Field, Bush Gardens, says, I was there. Leonard Skinnard. Uh, Saturday, 13, April 13, Leonard Skinnard, Tortuga Music Festival. Right? Um, I figured I'd do, I'd do a uh, Google comparison, uh, Google Trends, and it, it's, it's really bizarre. Because uh, you have like spikes here, like in 2016, there's a huge one, and in um, later that year, August, and you know a lot of people fell into the Mandela effect middle of July. That seemed like when when uh, Google Trends sort of picked it up, and I wonder if that's changed. I might check that on a different video. But um, yeah, going through here, there's even LinardSkinnard.com. Um, Oh wow, here's a radio station. That's bizarre. Look at this. Leonard Skinnard, 100.7. Let's see if it changes. Oh, okay, cool. Look at this. This is from a classic rock station, and right here in the title says Leonard Skinnard, but then it changes. You guys see that? How it changes? Come on, this is they're they're screwing with our heads. This is Urban Dictionary, Leonard Skinnard, the greatest Southern rock band ever. See also amazing. <laughs> Leonard Leonard Skinnard is the best band ever. See the, these guys are huge fans of Leonard Skinnard, or Leonard Skinnard, however you pronounce it. But that's the way it was. Leonard Skinnard concert from Tripadvisor. Okay, and there's a five star right here. Review of uh, Luther F. Carson tours. Um, Four Rivers Center, sorry. Yeah, so these guys are used to having bands come in all the time. I doubt they would spell it wrong. Leonard Skinnard Concert, see? Uh, it says here, the Carson Center was a great venue for Leonard Skinnard. The sound was perfect. The seating was comfortable. Golly, this is crazy. The, um, here's an eBay. New Leonard Skinnard 12 ounce coffee mug, but if yet if you look at the mug and zoom in, the freaking letters have changed. And second of all, look, what, I'm also seeing the KY joined right there on the sky and the sky and the Y and the R. Yeah, there's some letters joining here, but you know why would we remember a certain way like this guy does here, and he's selling a mug and it's spelled differently here? I don't get it. This is something interesting. Um, maybe I should email this guy, message him. 
Murrow Maniacs, Unboxing Shirts, Leonard Skinnard, and Led Zeppelin. Just in case Led Zeppelin changes, there's two P's and one L. Okay? But yeah, look at Leonard. It's, it's Leonard. Skinnard. It just sounds, it looks wrong, man. Um, yeah, the, like I said, the, the, the t-shirt changed right here. Interesting. And their title is different. Here's another reality glitch. Leonard Skinnard, Simple Man. Right? I'll play a short clip because I don't want to get copyrighted. But yeah, it says Linear Skinnier. It changed. It's a simple man. When I was young. Okay. Simple man. Um, the rock cover song, Culture, History, Politics. Young Southern man in Alabama prompted Leonard Skinnard to respond with Sweet Home Alabama 1974. There you go. In which they singled out Young by name and in effect told him to shut up. In this sense, the message of the song was telling Northerners to sort their own problems rather than lecture Southerners. The song specifically mentions Watergate. Wow. However, the Neil Young Leonard Skinnard feud was far more humorous than malicious. And uh, Leonard Skinnard, lead singer Ronnie Van Zant, occasionally wore a Neil Young t shirt. And right here it says, Probably the most famous lead guitarist was Stephen Gaines and his band. Stephen's younger sister Cassie was dating the lead singer in Leonard Skinnard's band down in Arkansas. Leonard Skinnard's album, right here. And Leonard Skinnard. Leonard Skinnard, Return South, Lost South, My Country Roots. Let's see, I'm kind of breezing through here because I have to be on my way. Uh, whiskey Bottles, Brand New Cars, The Fast Life, Sudden Death of Leonard Skinnard. See? Um, Leonard Skinnard on the back boards of local pubs, billing their gigs. See? So just I'm just pointing it out here, guys. You can see all the highlighted ones are Leonard Skinnard. Um, yeah, so Ronnie Van Zant, remember that, he's, he's the lead singer. Um, yeah, so, Leonard Skinnard, I echoed, see, Heart Song Barracuda, Leonard Skinnard. Here's another one, Leonard's, uh, Leonard Skinnard, that smell, and I'm only pronouncing it like that, so it's, that's the way it is. That smell, right? Well, let me tell you guys. Extra, extra, read all about it. Something smells fishy. Okay, something fishy, all right? So, yeah, there you have it. I figured I'd throw a little humor in there for you. Have a great Mandela Effect Day, and God bless you all.